Welcome to your morning, morning announcements. Good morning, Graham School. Hello, my name is Nishka. And my name is Evan. Today is Friday, May 5th, 2023. Today is Cinco de Mayo. Check out this video about the event. Ah, Cinco de Mayo, the day millions of Americans celebrate by stuffing their faces with nachos. Contrary to popular belief, it's not Mexico's Independence Day, but it is more than just another excuse to party. Cinco de Mayo commemorates Mexico's underdog victory against French troops during the Battle of Puebla in 1862. But since then, the holiday has become a much bigger deal in the U.S. than in Mexico. It gained popularity in the 1960s and 70s, when the Chicano Civil Rights Movement adopted Cinco de Mayo to celebrate Mexican heritage. Activist groups tried to promote events tied to Cinco de Mayo, but they needed cash and sponsors. That opened the door to alcohol and food companies that wanted to tap into the growing Latin American market. Since then, Cinco de Mayo has been transformed into the fiesta that frat boys celebrate today. Let me, uh, maybe it helps me understand it. We hope you have a great single de Mayo. Here are some leadership news. This afternoon, the leadership class is going to host a dance. All grades are welcome. The theme is Tropical Beach. Admission is free, but bring money for drinks and snacks. You will need a permission slip to get in, so grab one from your teachers, the front office, or room 32. Also, bring your gram tickets. With two tickets, you can request any school-appropriate song at the dance. See you there. Yesterday, we finished our cast testing. Hooray! Hooray. Gifts yeah, happening at 2 a.m. tomorrow morning at our time in England. A new king is going to be crowned, and this is the first time in 70 years. And last weekend, there was a district chess tournament, and our reporter Jeremy created this video covering the event. Check out this video. Two years ago, the Graham team won the MVWSD chess tournament and broke the all-time record with 13 and a half points. The team score is calculated by adding the top three players from each team's score together. Since there were five rounds, the maximum score possible is 15 points, only achievable by having three people win all five rounds, never losing or tying a single game. And that's exactly what happened yesterday, on Sunday, April 30th, when the Grand Bears participated again in the 21st Annual District-Wide Tournament, getting the first perfect score in the history of the competition. This year had a historical turnout with around 100 people from 10 different MVWSD schools. Easton R, Liam B, and Neil M led the team, all of them being undefeated, additionally making them in the top three in the whole tournament. Furthermore, Aaron S, UNT, Tilden W, and Theo V all scored four points. The team also consisted of Leander E, Xander L, Max K, and Spencer D. Good job, Graham. Thank you, Jeremy. Next Thursday, the Grammy Film Festival will be held in the auditorium from 6.30 to 8.30. Some of the nominations will be announced over the weekend and the rest will be announced on Monday. Teachers, please make sure to take roll now. Club news. The clubs for Friday are as follows. Lunch clubs. Ultimate Frisbee will be playing out on the field with Mr. Mulkey. The film club will be meeting with Mr. Butler in room five. After school clubs. The dance team will be meeting in a sports pavilion with Ms. Mueller. Have fun. Sports update. Yesterday, the Warriors destroyed the Lakers 127 to 100. They have tied the series, and Game 3 will be played in LA tomorrow. The Grand Track Team competed against Egan yesterday. Great job, Bears. We have two more meets next week on Tuesday and Thursday. Now, time for the Awesome Max of the Week. First is Lupita A. from Ms. Martina for Pursuit Knowledge. Lupita is the most improved student of the year. Next is Max K. from Mr. Carroll for Take Pride. Max goes above and beyond on every project in applied physics. Using a single piece of paper, he managed to hold 12 pounds. Third is Eric S. from Ms. Papson for Take Pride. Eric is my go-to calendar and time person. Eric does an amazing job. Fourth is Sahori B. from Ms. Mrs. Mueller for Together We Can. So Hori helped me make a quick video to explain the secure browser to new staff and students. And then there's Austin M. from Ms. Savala and Ms. Mendoza for Take Pride. In Spanish class, Austin completed his unit assignment two weeks in advance, and in PE, Austin helped to clean the PE classroom. 
Last but not least is Awesta J for Miss Martinez for pursuit of knowledge. Awesta continues to learn and grow every day in ELD. And once again, the winners are Lupita A, Max K, Eric S, Sahori B, Austin M, and Awesta J. You guys are awesome. Winners, please make sure to pick up your prizes in the library. Well, that's all we have for today, but we're ready for the next announcements on Monday. Have a great day. And go Bears. Brought, Brought to you live by, by GMS TV. TV. Sorry, Sorry for going over time. Goodbye from your morning announcements.